Hello there. This is where the fun begins. What's going on, guys? Unofficial Star Wars here. Hope you're all doing well. And in today's video, we of course are talking about the exciting Obi Wan Kenobi show and a little bit of the details here about the overall show. So without further ado, we're gonna hop right on into it. We're gonna be talking about the brand new Inquisitor that was introduced here into the trailer here, being portrayed here by the actress Moses Ingram. This year's actually said to be the third sister Inquisitor. She's the third sister. Her name is Reva, and I actually talked about this not only here on our YouTube uh, in a YouTube short recently, but I also talked about this over on our Instagram and TikTok. I'll have both of those linked down in the description down below, and it's kind of a callback towards the Legends character, Darth Revan. I have a fair share of a little bit of uh, theories and speculations here to go along with her overall character. It's something I'm going to talk about a little bit more here at the end of the video. I want to read it from an article as we have some quotes here coming from Moses Ingram himself in a recent interview, and we also have some quotes here coming from Deborah Chow, the show's director for Obi-Wan Kenobi, and Joby Harold, who is also a writer here for the Obi-Wan Kenobi the show. article is by Entertainment Weekly, written by Dalton Ross. And of course, as always, as I try to do, I'll have the full article linked down in the description down below. This here is from the other day when we had a full display of a brand new stills and images released here officially for the Obi-Wan Kenobi show as a first look here coming from Entertainment Weekly. In this specific section here of the article, image number three, giving us our first full look here at the brand new Inquisitor Reva. The article goes on to read, Inquisiting minds want to know. The article goes on to read, as the Force-sensitive Inquisitor Reva, Moses Ingram will prove a formidable new foe as she seeks out Jedi in hiding for the Empire. Director Deborah Chow and writer Joby Harrell described the character as ruthlessly ambitious. Continuing down on the article on image number 5 out of 8 on The Hunt, in quotes coming from Moses Ingram herself, they share a common dark side goal. End quote right there, Ingram says about the villainous trio of Reva, the Grand Inquisitor, and Darth Vader. In quotes, they're on the same team, she says. As if for what stands out most to Ingram about her big bad character, it's all heart, she says. So those are official quotes coming from Moses Ingram herself, Deborah Chow, and Joby Harold, as shows right and Deborah Chow being the director of the Obi-Wan Kenobi show. And as I had mentioned, I have my fair share of speculations and theories to go ahead and throw out there. Taking a look here at that last quote there, all heart is what Moses Ingram says. It kind of makes us feel like we're going to have some empathy here for her character of Reva, so it's kind of making me believe here, and I've actually seen a lot of other Star Wars fans and content creators out there also talking about this, is that we very well could potentially and possibly see Reva out there actually come to the light side, and in effort to maybe potentially help Obi-Wan Kenobi. For one thing I should mention, I think if this is going to be the case, it's definitely going to be some type of last minute sacrifice type of deal here, but also taking a look here at she's ruthlessly ambitious, it also feels like that maybe she would be completely turned to the dark side, she's going to be completely consumed by darkness, much like Darth Vader or Anakin Skywalker. It's either in the case that she's ruthlessly ambitious and in order to hunt down Jedi, such as Obi-Wan Kenobi, and find even more Jedi, or that she's ruthlessly ambitious in the case of wanting to help Jedi that are in hiding and trying to run away from the Empire. Potentially to find out hidden secrets or truths here that the Inquisitors, the Sith, and the Empire are trying to figure out here. Or that the Sith, Empire, and Inquisitors could be hiding from her. Although I don't really think there's a whole lot of really supporting evidence out there to kind of, you know, back this whole theory and speculation up out there. It is something, as I had mentioned, I'm seeing commonly being talked amongst Star Wars fans and Star Wars content creators as well. Is that they have a feeling, just kind of like this weird feeling that Reva would actually turn to the light side or make one last uh, an attempt of a sacrifice type of deal here for her to turn to the good side or to at least see the light one last time we must mention and at least also recognize that inquisitors are fallen jedi they used to be jedi and that they weren't always on the dark side of the force it's something i'll probably dive a little more deeper into a separate future video hopefully of where we can actually have more evidence that kind of back this whole theory and idea up and actually have its own complete theory here because this here was also a mix of you know taking quotes here from a recent interview here from the weekly entertainment weekly of course as always i want all of your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section down below here what do you guys think here about reva as the new inquisitor being the third sister and what do you guys think here about the other inquisitor showing up here in the obi-wan kenobi show i'd absolutely love to hear all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below drop a like on the video if you did enjoy it as it readers over the channel and check out instagram unofficial star wars for more star wars of the content guys thanks so much for watching today's video as always may the force be with you i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out